uh, 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 making sure my iPhone doesn't fall in the sink. That's right, it's me, it's me, it's that C-O-O-K-I-N-G, and I am far too lame and white to make that intro. Oh, the weather outside is apocalyptic. As you can see, and as you can tell by the weird lighting, it is dark and rainy outside because there's a hurricane coming. Anytime there's any sort of natural disaster heading to North Carolina, or really any state in the South, there's always a raid on the grocery stores. And specifically, it's always two items in particular. And today, I am going to make a special dish out of those two ingredients. And those ingredients are milk and bread. So, sorry for the weird camera angle right now because uh, right now my phone is balancing on the top part of my stove because I don't have a professional setup for this. So, I'm really hoping my phone doesn't fall from here. All right, so first thing you wanna do, get you a plate, put this right here. Let me just center that a little bit better. Uh, my phone's gonna fall. Nope, 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 nope. I regret everything. All right, we're just gonna put it there and you're just gonna have a weird angle, so good for you. We've got our, our bread right here. Uh, we're gonna need a, cause this is, you know, homemade sourdough bread that a very special uh, sister of mine gave to me, which I think someone else gave to her because I know she did not make this. So, um, we got this, but we need to make our, because we're going to make a sa sandwich. We're going to make a sandwich. So, we need to go ahead and make our slices. So, with that being said, I have a knife. Um, of course, knives aren't toys. You shouldn't play around with them at all. And certainly, don't stab anyone, especially if you're a clown. All right, so we got a slice going right there. And you know what, don't really worry if, you know, your slice isn't exactly uh, even. Um, because really it ultimately doesn't matter because I mean more bread is it's, it's tasty bread so who cares alright so now we're gonna go with our second slice make it a little bit thinner because that first slice is a little bit thick alright so we've got our slices that looks rough but don't pay attention to that so uh, I that's all flimsy so that will be our top we're gonna use this big this big slice as our base for the sandwich. I'm gonna put the knife away. Again, don't play with knives. All right, so now we have our next piece to all of this, and that is the milk. Oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> oh, this is a bad idea. All right, so now we're going, it's milk sandwich, so you have to add the milk. Oh, oh no, oh no bueno. Oh, it's soaking up. Oh, that's so soggy. Ha, uh, okay, hmm. A little bit more. All right, and then we're gonna just put that right there. There you have it. That is how you make a milk sandwich so you can survive the storm. And typically on previous episodes of Cooking with Chris, um, I usually eat what I've prepared off camera because it's my own private time to enjoy my meal. Um, yeah, this time's not gonna be an exception. I'm, okay, oh. Okay, fine. I wanna, oh, it's so soggy. Mm, mm, nope, nope, mm, mm, nope. Ugh. Blech. Mm. Oh, mm, nope, mm, mm, nope, 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 nope. And so your final step is that you realize that you live in Greensboro, which is pretty far inland, which means the storm really isn't that bad compared to everywhere else. So you stop panicking, go outside and get you a steak bowl from Kyoto Express. Now this video isn't sponsored by Kyoto Express, but they should give me a call. 
plug 